Hi, I'm Ali Plum. I'm here to talk to Emma about HeForShe and the launch of the new HeForShe website. For those who don't know, what is HeForShe? HeForShe is a solidarity movement for gender equality, like in a nutshell. Big question here. Yeah. What is HeForShe trying to achieve? We're trying to achieve gender equality, but I think the really cool thing about HeForShe is that we aren't just, you know, an education or an awareness campaign. It's, it's wonderful that people are talking about it and it's great that so many people are talking about it. Um, but we're more than just an awareness campaign, we are mission focused. We, we're really trying to um, collect, register, be aware of people that are taking action for gender equality. And, and that's, really, that's really our main focus. Where are we currently in the world with a state of gender equality? Well, it's really interesting because there's this perceived notion that gender inequality was sort of a thing of the past, that we've sort of figured that one out and, you know, we're, we're kind of where we need to be. But when you start to look even just a little bit deeper beneath the surface, you start to realise that actually we've got quite a long way to go. Why is it important to involve men like myself with this project? I think there's this perception that uh, feminism or gender equality or, or like women's issues are to be talked about by women, that it's for women and, you know, women are like this, this separate thing. But of course, women are human beings and these are, these are human rights that we're talking about. So we kind of need everyone to be part of the conversation. And that was really what He For She is about and how He For She was born, was that we wanted to make sure that the conversation was inclusive. And also we were talking to people that didn't agree with us. And that was actually really important. We, we, we want to create change. And so the conversation needs to be opened up to groups that perhaps traditionally hadn't been associated with um, engaging with, with feminism or, or gender equality. Could you give me some examples of stories from men who've become involved with He For She? I was on the university uh, tour for He For She and there was a young man who we asked, you know, like, what would gender equality mean for you? And he was like, well, it would mean that I could drink my fizzy cider without my mates taking the piss out of me. And I was like, well, oh, this doesn't sound like a very compelling, compelling reason to achieve gender equality in the world. But actually, he sort of started to elaborate more. And he was just saying that he found the pressure to fit this male mold and to conform to this kind of lad culture of like this very heavy binge drinking actually really kind of soul destroying and that he was often really ashamed of how he how he acted when he was on these huge like binge drinking um things with his mates and how he treated girls specifically when when he was like that and the dude just wanted to drink fizzy cider you know what i'm saying and it was just it was just really sweet actually and and i just found that something so simple, um, but, but guys just feel this incredible pressure to, to be, that in order to be a man, there are, there are all of these, these ideas that they, they really have to live up to and conform to, and it's, it's actually a bit suffocating. We're here to specifically discuss yes. the heforshe.org website. Yes. Why is that so important? Well, it's important because we want to be the first and largest uh, crowdsourcing tool for solutions to gender equality. And the reason that is exciting is because we've had people sign up to the commitment and I've had lots of wonderful emails from men saying, all right, I'm on board, I get it, I'm into it, you know, great. But like, what do you want me to do? What do you actually want me to do about this now? I'm like... So this has been great and, and we've received hundreds of emails like this and so we've set up this website. But what's been really interesting is that we haven't wanted to prescribe to anyone um, how best within their specific country, town, school, community, whatever the best way to enact this change is. And actually when people have come up with their own solutions organically, there's been some amazing things that have happened. So um, a man in Zimbabwe started a husband school for he for she which was incredible. Um, we've had one of our Hifashi champions, the president of Malawi, just annulled 300 child bride marriages and sent the girls back to school, which was unbelievable. Um, we've had the University of Waterloo decided that they were going to give uh, scholarships for girls for engineering uh, specifically, which has been amazing. So we've kind of 
we've realized that like you guys have the solutions and we just need to create the platform through which we can inspire you. Um, so we've, we've created this website and we, th and we think it's pretty awesome. Um, it's got all of these new features. It's got a, um, it's called an impact map. And what it does is it shows you a map of the world. And then if you click on your country, it'll show you the issue which is which you think or you voted is the most uh, important with regards to gender equality. So it might be political representation, it might be education, it might be health, it might be identity. Um, you know, there's all of these different ones that you can sort of like click on and you can vote. And what's great is that we're gonna be able to collect that data and we're gonna be able to take that to governments, to companies, businesses, universities, individuals and say, this is the issue that the people of your country think is the one which most needs to be worked on and changed. And when you, we can use that to leverage resources, um, funds, uh, you know, we can really, we can really push behind whatever that is. And the coolest thing is that it's kind of essentially voted for by the public. It's essentially, the reason I'm the most excited about the website is because it, it's sort of like, a manifestation of a of an online grassroots movement in that it's really driven by people and their involvement with it. What are your plans for the future of the website? Where next? I gave the speech last September about he for she and about what it was about. And I talked about how gender wasn't a binary. So it wasn't kind of men over here in this corner and women over here in this corner. It was, I was trying to express this idea that gender works on this spectrum that, and that people fall in all sorts of different places on the spectrum. And then we realized that the website didn't really reflect that. And so he for she actually changed it, um, which is pretty cool. So today I get to be the first woman who can sign up to the he for she commitment, which is awesome. The other thing that we did is made it so that you didn't have to sign the website as a man or a woman. You could actually choose how you identified yourself, what pronoun you wanted to use. Um, so whether you're trans, non-gender conforming, um, whether you're, whatever you wanna call yourself, you can register and identify yourself in that way. We wanted to make sure that the website was really inclusive and really empowering um, for the people that were taking the commitment and that you know they could identify themselves as they wanted. So, um, so that's really exciting. So the Secretary General is the first man sign up. Um, I'm going to be the first woman. And we hope that, um, yeah, that, that lots and lots and lots of people will continue to sign up, which is awesome. The other cool thing that we're measuring is, is not just the number of people taking the commitment, but the number of gender equality actions. So people actually doing something for he for she, for gender equality, um, whether that be um, a marathon being run for he for she, or uh, whether it be a husband school that gets started in Zimbabwe, or whatever the action is, we want to measure it, we want to know that it's important to us, we want to share the story of, of that happening, um, and, and we, want, we want that visual on, on the website, so um, that's really exciting too. In other words, if you're watching this and you haven't already signed up, yes, sign up. Yes, if you're watching this and you haven't signed up yet, um, whoever you are, wherever you are, please, please do. It's a, it's a really fun and interesting website, and I think it's going to turn into what we hope is, you know, an amazing resource toolkit, solutions kit. Um, that will make your commitment to these ideas actionable. And we want to empower you to, uh, to support. And, and we, we, we need and we want that support, so. Could you tell me a bit more about how the website works? Yes, so I don't know anything about websites. So it was all a little bit confusing for me at first, but the website's been designed so that it's sort of mobile friendly and iPad friendly and it sort of works in all these different mediums. So it's got what I'm told in the tech world is called a hamburger in the top left hand corner, which is like these three lines, which functions as your navigation, which means that you can use it on your mobile. And it sort of takes you to these three sort of key, you know, ideas or principles of the website, which is that um, your voice matters. 
uh, and and your actions make it real. Um, and your stories are really important to us too. So the website is kind of collecting this data, archiving these stories, uh, collecting all of these solutions and tools and ideas about, about how we can make gender equality a reality and actionable. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's very simple and clean and, and hopefully easy to use. That's so, the idea. So if you're watching this on your mobile, Yeah. You could Go and sign up right now. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's the idea is that you can access it on your mobile. It's super easy to use on your phone. Um, yeah, you could you could you could just sign up like right now. Just you could just now you could just pause this video and be like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and sign the HFD commitment. <laughs> this pin here. Yeah. As you can see. Yes. Tell me about the logo for He For She. So the He For She logo is actually kind of an amalgamation of the symbol for women and the symbol for men. We really wanted a symbol or a logo that kind of encapsulated the idea of these two genders coming together in solidarity. And so it's, it's, a, combined, it's a combined symbol. And is there anywhere that other people who aren't already lucky enough to have a pin? Like yourself. Like myself. Get their own. Yes, so um, they've actually been sold out, uh, which is wonderful. But um, there are more that are coming next week. There are more of the pins and the bands, and they're on the website too. Who are the big supporters you have for the website? When you log onto the website, what you'll see first of all is you'll see um, these kind of portraits of women and men, and they've been they've been paired up. So there's only half a face, and so the idea behind that was that you know we are the idea that we are one that what connects us is uh actually more significant than what divides us we kind of hope that these portraits will build and we're also hoping that we can tell the stories of all of the different faces on the website and and why they care about gender equality and why why it's important to them so we have uh nato is one of our he for she champions pretty amazing. The whole of the European Commission, the UN Secretary General, uh, President Obama, Prince Harry has signed up. Um, we've had some pretty amazing support, really. It's, it's like, it's really, it's really been amazing. Finally. Yes. What is next for you, Emma? We'll be continuing the He For She University tour, hopefully, and we, we've only done it in um, Europe so far, but we hope that it's going to spread, spread everywhere. So that will be great. I'm gonna be at Davos next week at the World Economic Forum with our 10 uh, HeForShe Impact Champions uh, who are going to release some very interesting data on, um, on gender parity within their own companies and, and the representation of women within their, within their institutions, which, which will be amazing. Uh, so, so yeah, lots happening, and then today, obviously, focusing on the on the website launch. Tell me about your book club. I hear you have one. I do have a book club. Um, it's called Our Shared Shelf, and it's on Goodreads. And the idea is that we pick a new book every month. This month's book is My Life on the Road by Gloria Steinem, which is her new memoir. I'm about oh, like two thirds of the way through, I would say now, uh, and it's been amazing. There's there's tons and tons and tons of discussion topics. I think we have 80,000 members now, which is unbelievable. It's, um, it's really fun and, and I'm gonna be trying to organize conversations with the authors or you know, other thinkers on the topic um, to, to, discuss, to discuss with, with readers too. So it's a, it's a really cool, fun project. My shared shelf. Our shared shelf, because it's not mine, it's, it's ours. Do you see? She'd have Do you see that? that one out, shouldn't Do you I? see that? It's ours. It's everybody's. Thank you so much for talking to me, Emma. Thanks for talking to me. I now know a lot more than I used to. Yay! Genuinely. That's that's great. And I got a pin. And and, and you got a he for she band. This is the wrong way around. You're gonna take is, them off when you leave the room. This aren't is you? upside down. He for she. <laughs> I should have put it the wrong way around.